What's up, everybody, and welcome to the channel, the Shotgun Shogun. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the buff events and the Guilty Gear collab. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you have probably already seen this on Facebook, Reddit, Discord, whatever. You've done this yourself because we've got the event going on right now where you're going to get double hunt mats, right? So, of course, everybody's going to be degen farming the double hunt mats because, well, we're degenerate farmers, right? So, and if you want hunt mats, you want 85 gear, you're going to need to do this. Not only that, but you're going to need it for the reforge stuff, which actually doesn't uh, count in with the with the hunt materials uh, because it's just crafting materials. So, you know, if you were one of those people who maybe for some reason thought that they would be cool enough to give us like double manifestation stones, double dragon hearts. Uh, yeah, no, no, not so much. As a matter of fact, um, they with the last patch where everybody was super tilted that level 70 gear was going to be taken out of the equation or that was in the equation. They wanted it taken out. They wanted more crafting materials what have you while well, they listen to you and they took it out and well uh it's garbage it's it's real bad so i have uh I actually you know what we've got some some breaking news let's go over to let's go over to our on the on the ground reporter covering the the death of conversion material Now, what do I mean by the death of conversion material? Now, I'm sure that you've, like I said, I'm sure you've seen the charts, people talking about this already, but here we're going to bring up, this is a little bit of what I did earlier. I didn't even think about recording it or recording my drops until a little bit later in the afternoon when I was talking to some people, but this is what I have done uh, a little bit ago, you know, so I've been running this pretty much all day. Uh, before this, I was already a little tilted over the stuff that I've got. So I did 120, I recorded 128 runs. No idea what happened with the 14 there. Just super bad RNG. Most of the time I get 18 to 20 on my, uh, on my kills based on RNG and I do them pretty quick, do them pretty quick. So as you can see over here on the far right hand side, this is the the gist of what I got. So uh, you're going to need, I got 200 dragon hearts. So I was able to upgrade one piece of gear, one piece of wyvern gear in 128 runs. Now that's a lot of runs. Hold on. Let me see what that, what that is in terms of stamina. Cause that was the one thing I didn't think to, uh, to put that up there. So that's 2,816 stamina, 2,816 stamina, for one piece of 90 gear to upgrade. Now, as you can see right above that is the manifestation stones and that's for conversion material. And, uh, and that is 20. So if we just take some math here and we do 2,816 times 10, that is uh 28,160 stamina to upgrade a singular piece of conversion material to, uh, not material, but conversion piece to, to level 90. Uh, I do not foresee anybody actually using conversion now. Uh, I mean, it was pretty okay. You could at least pick like your set and your substat. That was nice or not substat, but main stat. That was semi nice. But uh, now with the thought that you are, you need to keep your resources um, in mind when you're crafting gear right so if you craft a level piece a piece of level 89 or 85 conversion gear eventually you are going to want to bump that up to 90 right well this is going to take you a uh, 1280 runs to to upgrade that one piece of conversion gear now alternatively what you can do is instead of using you know your conversion gems and slamming a whole bunch of materials uh into 
the the steeple you can easily just craft now uh you can just sell all of your bad 85 gear or use it as fodder and you are going to have to craft now so the basically what they did is you get craft materials on wave one 100 percent of the time now however on the second part they replaced 70 gear with a, a chance to get hunt material or the conversion materials upgrade materials whatever you want to call it uh now that overall is a detriment to the amount of gold that you get because well i mean as you can see here while i did get a decent amount of i actually out of 128 runs i got three pieces of epic gear 18 pieces of purple 85 gear and 17 pieces of 85 blue gear now i would fodder or sell the blue gear most of the 85 gear was bad so i would fodder or sell that um the three epic pieces actually none of them were very good um so i would end up foddering oh i'll end up selling that i usually sell the epic gear that's bad because you get more gold overall than otherwise but realistically out of all of that you're it's it, you're not getting as much gold nearly as much gold the gold stayed the same you're just getting another piece of uh materials you're getting the materials and i believe uh, somebody might math it i never really kept track of what it was beforehand i'm sure somebody has one and i'm sure somebody out there has done a detailed more detailed analysis than i have on this and realistically it seems like the 70 gear just completely got replaced by the reforging materials now again i don't know they obviously didn't tell us they don't tell us any of the percentages on anything it would be really nice if they did but um overall this was a huge huge loss in terms of the way that it was before if you were getting a much bigger gain on reforging materials in 13 and 12 was the easier one to farm if you were going for like gold whatever what have you and then you moved here but the thing is is you're not getting more reforge materials overall right so i was getting more reforge materials over at the other like the way it was before when it was on the first uh the first wave because well you either got crafting material or you got reforge material so in a very good day of farming wyvern all day long I would be able to upgrade anywhere from four, eh, about four pieces of gear to level 90. And that's if I farmed pretty hard throughout the day. That would mean, and usually for every three to four pieces that I could upgrade of nine, of 85 regular gear, I could upgrade a piece of 85 conversion gear. Now I'm going to be up, it's going to take me forever. Like I literally have been farming almost all day and out of, well, so I would say that this 128 runs was probably i don't know i started counting it like five hours ago maybe if that uh so you know obviously you could do quite a bit more if you wanted to burn literally just all of your energy and you were farming 24 7 but most people aren't so realistically this is garbage like literal literal trash if you are and the other thing too is most people are swimming in crafting materials so they gave you more crafting materials and they didn't even up the gold that you're getting out of this in order to offset the crafting that you're going to be doing like gold is one of the biggest problems gold is one of the biggest problems in this game for the vast majority of things right and now they're just going to give you more materials that you can't craft with and they'll just say we'll just sell the gar the garbage that you crafted with okay well cool how am i supposed to level up the good pieces of gear that i have oh all those copious amounts of charms that we get oh that's cool deal dude maybe if you made the steeple so that i could get more charms like here's the thing is i understand that they want the longevity of the game they want don't want people to just have maxed out perfect gear and then quit the game because they're bored but i have 126 stars or more uh there's so many characters in the game that most people aren't going to gear four characters eight characters and then just quit farming gear um and so it's detrimental overall because they just made it they literally took a, the the hunts and they listened to the loudest minority of people that are like, man, 70 gears in 13. Now, granted, don't don't get me wrong. I thought that 70 gear wouldn't drop there either, but I thought that 85 gear would be 
in place of both of them. So you would have pretty much a piece of 85 gear every single run. Um, and I don't know why they don't, uh, there's no way I can't imagine that there's a way that they can't drop like multiple things in one run, or it's like they could just put it in so that after you kill the, uh, after you kill Wyvern, a, um, like a chest drops, like in, in raid where it's like, oh, you get an extra piece of gear. If that's the limitation on the Yuna engine or whatever, because I know that most things don't ever drop more than one thing. So they could just go, oh, you beat it. Here's a chest that has like insert one of the other pieces uh, that you would get out of the second run. So you could get a reforged material and a piece of gear. You could get a bookmarks, dust, whatever. And the reforged should be in with bookmarks, dust, uh, skystone, stuff like that. And then a piece of gear. So sure. At the moment, it would stay the same in terms of reforging, but you would get that and a piece of gear or that like one of each of those i don't know if you get a bookmark you can get reforged materials if you get dust you can get reforged materials or 85 piece of gear so like there would be three pools i guess like reforged materials gear and the other stuff which sometimes i really wish that they would just take that stuff out um that would be a lot better and then put that into another hunt with just gold uh, what have you but realistically i think that the overall change that they did to this was very detrimental they under the guise of hey this is great for the community this is what you guys wanted they they nerfed it overall now you'll have people that'll be like oh well this just helps you craft more gear do you even have perfect gear to upgrade it doesn't matter dude like you overall nerfed everything like nobody i can't imagine like maybe two people in the world we're like, I just don't have enough, just don't have enough crafting materials. I really, really would just like to have uh, more crafting materials. Like, I don't even need reforged stuff. I don't need 85 gear drops or 70 drops to sell for gold because that's what I probably should have been doing or using them as fodder. I need more crafting materials. No more gold. I don't want more gold. Don't give me more gold. F that. I need just more crafting materials guarantee it to me on the first run no and if they did their stuff that that's just dumb just don't even so realistically they just kind of effed uh doing wyvern 13 right it is a big slap in the face to a lot of people including myself um so it sucks it sucks uh but i'm gonna farm it and i'm gonna craft a bunch of stuff because well that's what i gotta do um so is what it is man uh let me know down below what you guys think are you seeing the same thing um do you feel like it's a net overall loss or are you happy with it and if so you know what try to change my mind like give me a reason why you think that this is better in the comment section i'm always open to new opinions maybe you'll be like maybe you'll give me a, lo a way out and i'll be like oh okay i guess that makes perfect sense i fucking hate when they hate when they gang up on my alexa failed run failed run only real time that i usually lose these anyways guys i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna get back to farming i got some other stuff to do and i will catch you guys later take it easy homies peace